So the May long weekend is typically the start of the summer blockbuster season. This year, many of the movies filmed are in 3D. And that leaves our Teresa Lalonde wondering, is the film industry moving permanently to the third dimension? Creativity in the computer cave in the animation studio at the Vancouver Film School. Students here love 3D and can't wait for the summer movies to come out. You just get blown away. You just sit there and go, wow, the explosion, or look at the giant robot. It doesn't look like it was made out of vacuum cleaners and, you know, garbage materials. <laughs> it merges the dreamlike ideas and brings them to life, which I think is very exciting. The list of 3D movies is long, from the latest in the popular Pirates of the Caribbean films. Did everyone see that? Because I will not be doing it again. To the high kicks and smooth moves of Kung Fu Panda 2. He's a superhero. He's a god. He's Thor in 3D. And those crazy little blue smurfs will come out of the screen at you. So what does so many 3D movies mean for the industry? It gives you the sense as if you're actually interacting with the movie, even though you're not really uh, part of the feature, you're not part of the uh, part of the what's going on on the screen. You feel like you're part of the experience. Barrage says 3D filmmakers are thinking way beyond the horror film use of 3D, where things jump out at you. Today, it's more about immersing you in the movie. I honestly think that with the ability for 3D to get people out of their homes and into the theaters, I don't think you can ignore that from a, from a fiscal vantage point. But should every film be in 3D? The King's Speech. So we shoot that in 3D. I don't, I don't think it's going to do anything for it other than distract from it. Yeah. Don Hunter believes if a film is going to be 3D, it should be written for that realm. Otherwise, stick to the traditional format. So you don't really have the control of deciding that now I want that spaceship to blow out into the third row of the audience. For this summer, film that literally reaches out and grabs you will be a big draw. Teresa Lalonde, CBC News, Vancouver.